Hi guys, welcome back to Singa TV Media YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the basics of Karam, uh, all the rules and regulation of the game, and all the parts, for example, the striker and the discs, and where it was originated and where it, it is popular now. Karam is the most popular game in India and it was also originated in there. Most Karam boards are mostly made by using wood and some places they are used made by glass. The first tournament of Karam was in Sri Lanka in 1935. The game of Karam became popular, most popular after World War II. Uh, one more fact about Karam is that Karam is governing International Karam Federation since 1988 and after established ICF, also known as International Karam Federation, it has been very popular throughout Asia and the Middle East. You need to play it with a standard Karam uh, board and with a standard size of 29 to 29 inches. And the board has to be approved uh, by the International Karam Federation, also known as the ICF. And India is the biggest manufacturer exporter of Karam board. These are the small discs that we use to play Karam. Uh, these discs are also known as Karamen, Seeds, Coins, Pawns or Pucks. So the game uh, includes 19 pieces uh, or discs and one striker. So here we have um, 9 uh, discs here, the white one. And here we have the black uh, 9 discs. And here we have one red disc and here's the striker. This current piece must be between 7 millimeters and 9 millimeters thick. Also, this current piece uh, is a diameter of 3.02 centimeters and 3.18 uh, centimeters. Another fact is that all of these discs have to be the same size no matter what colour it is. This is the striker that we use to hit the discs in the pocket hole. If an opponent uh, mistakenly puts the striker in the pocket hole, um, it is considered as a fault, uh, so uh, he will get a penalty. So what you have to do is get one of his discs that he has already put in the pocket hole and put it anywhere you want within the circle. Once uh, after that, you can continue the game. Both teams have their own colours, black and white. Here are nine black coins, here we have nine white coins, and one red coin, which is the queen. See hey guys, so when we're playing, we need um, a smooth surface. Um, uh, so it will it'll make, uh, make the discs uh, better to move uh, into the pocket hole. And if uh, something wrong happens, it's like it uh, doesn't, the smooth doesn't happen, like it doesn't make it move, the disc doesn't make it move, then you have to sprinkle some powder over it, so then it will be better for the discs to move, and the powder should not affect your health as well, um, so you guys will be safe. The next thing is, when you're playing, you need the striker to shoot the discs, so what you have to do is just have the striker and place it um, between these two base lines, so um, and that's how you play it. You can p uh, cover um, the queen um, at any stage of the game. It doesn't matter what, but any stage of the game. But the opponent has a chance uh, of uh, winning by putting all the cadam all of his cadam men uh, by pocketing them. And uh, before you players are not allowed to keep the striker ac across the diagonal arrow or, or touch it. So this is not allowed, but over here, the red space, or between the two base lines, is good. Shooting styles can vary between player to player. Sometimes people do this, and sometimes people do this, but people have different styles. But there's one thing, you can only flick, that's good, but you cannot push it. For example, you can't do this, that is not acceptable. So just flick it. And that's good. The thing guys is that players are allowed to orient their bodies but remain seated for their next shot. 
Another in interesting factor, guys, is that before you were not allowed to hit directly when cameramen's were behind the baseline, but um, at that time you had to do a back shot like this. But now there's something called thumbing, which is this. And now people find that easier and better. When you're striking and one cameraman jumps off the board, then you have to place um, the same uh, color caramel in, uh, into the uh, into the middle circle. Can a player put his last coin before the queen? Well, the answer is no. Penalty is imposed, and he will lose points. What happens if you put one of the opponent's coins? Well, the answer is you will lose your turn. So before we start the game. You need to decide who's going to strike first. So what uh, the umpire does is get one black coin and one white coin and going to put it uh, behind the back and muddle it up so the two players don't know which one is which. So I am going to pick that the white one is going to be in the right hand. And that is correct. So what I can do is decide if I can strike first, or I could give it to the opponent. So, because uh, I'm going to give it to the opponent because I'm a nice guy. So I'm going to give it to the opponent. So all here, uh, all all the opponent has to do is just strike the set of coins. And one thing, the person who strikes it is the white one, uh, white team. So uh, so I'm the black team. You must pocket your queen before you finish your last carom, man, or else. If you fail to pocket carom after queen, you have to replace the queen. So in this case, you have to red pot right now, which is also known as covering the queen. So if I put the red disc or the queen uh, in the pocket hole here, all we have left is um, the discs, the small discs. Right now, my team is the white one. But if I accidentally strike this black one, which is not uh, my team, that is the opposite team, in the pocket hole, uh, that means I have to replace uh, the queen where it, was, uh, where it belonged, which is the centre of the circle. And then after that, you continue the game. If you put the queen in one of the coins at one shot, that means the queen is automatically covered and it doesn't matter which one was first once you pocket the queen you must immediately cover the queen up by pocketing one of your own carom men to cover it after putting the queen then the queen is returned to to the center like this Legal to put the queen after the last piece since the queen must always be covered like this. Now that is illegal, so that player gets a penalty. So you put these two discs uh, in the uh, middle circle wherever you want. If the player commits one of these faults, they will get a penalty. Now let's see what the faults are. Number one, players are not allowed to cross diagonal lines. Number two, players are not allowed to pocket the striker. Number three, sticking hand must not cross the diagonal lines. How to give points in carom games. The black caraman is worth 10 points. The white caraman is worth 20 points. And the red or the queen is worth 50 points. But to get that 50 points, once you pocket the queen, you have to pocket uh, a caraman so uh, you could cover the queen. 
and that's when you can get the 50 points you can uh, cover um, the queen um, at any stage of the game it doesn't matter what but any stage of the game but the opponent has a chance uh, of uh, winning by putting all the cadam all of his cadam men uh, by pocketing them and uh, before you do Karam can be played by either two or four people so it's best suited for families if you liked the video please subscribe hit the like button and turn the post notification bell on so you will get notified whenever we ever post a video peace out